Well boys, today is going to be a super interesting video because we're actually taking my MR2 to get a $600 paint job. Yes, $600. I've, I have no idea what this paint job is gonna look like. We're taking it to this company called Econo and I've never heard it before. There's a lot of them all over the States. Uh, the MR2 really needs some love, so we're gonna go take it to Econo and get a $600 paint job. Wish me luck because I have no idea. I'm assuming $600 is going to be horrible, a whole bunch of runs and overspray, which I'm okay with because the MR2 is like the perfect car to test that on. So yeah, let's head out and uh, let's go get a $600. First thing on the to-do list before we drop off the car, I don't know if I'm going to drop it off today or bring it another day, but you're all going to see this in one video, but we got to go drop off merch. I have a lot of merch to ship out. If you want to buy some merch, uh, link in bio. <laughs> So yeah, let's go drop off the merge. I have a couple packages and uh, then we'll we'll drive it to a $600 paint job. We made it, so let's go drop off the merch. I also wanna show you guys how the MR2 looks right now. So I'm gonna go outside, show you, let's drop off the merch and yeah, we'll head out from here. But let me show you what the car looks like right now. Oh man, Florida is so freaking hot, like insanely hot. So. Let's fill this bad Johnny up and then I'm gonna show you around the car. This thing is horrible. Well boys, uh, the car is filling and we're just gonna do a walk around of the MR2. As you can see, this thing is horrible. Look at this, dude. I've been sanding it myself, filling the dents. That's why I feel like this paint job might be a little bit decent because I did some of the body work already. We sanded the whole body. I like literally scratched up the front and the bumper just a tiny bit. I mostly focus on the sides and the bag, but yeah, man, this thing needs a paint job for sure. And we'll see if it comes out good. I sanded pretty much the whole rear of the car. The rear should come out pretty good. The front, we don't know, but I focus most of my attentions in the back and this thing is ready to drop off. So this is just a clip of how it looks before we actually pick this thing up again. Florida is so miserable right now. It's so humid that I'm sweating bullets in this car. The sun's not even that hot. It's the fact that it's super, super humid right now. Ugh. We have this thing filled up, so now we're actually ready to get out of here, but it's it's miserable. We have about, about an hour and 40 minutes of this. Oh gosh. Ugh. All right, let's do it. As long as I don't stop, this is wonderful. The air is good. It doesn't feel super humid. It's nice, as long as I don't stop. And we're driving to a populated area, which means I'm gonna stop a lot. But she's cruising perfectly fine right now. And so, woo, I'm excited, man. Hopefully they take it in today. If not, we're gonna have to bring it back another day, but I'm hoping they take it in today so, so we can just leave it there and get it done. So we will see. We're officially eight minutes out. I have no idea what they're gonna say. I don't know if they're gonna tell me to leave it or bring it another day. I'm hoping they say bring it another day because I don't have a ride home. Uh, if not, I'm gonna be waiting there till six till someone can come pick me up. So we'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm hoping they say uh, to bring it another day. I'll bring it tomorrow or whenever. So we'll see. We are here. I don't want them to see me recording because it's a little awkward, but they're painting a few cars in those little things, man. They're sanding them too, from what I can see. So uh, let's go in there and let's get a quote. Maybe they'll take the car today. Maybe they won't. I don't exactly know. Ah, but it's hot in here. So let, let's go in there and let's get a quote. Whoa, boys, they took my car. I have no ride home right now. I'm just walking randomly in the streets of Winter Haven. I'm trying to find a Walmart because my phone's about to die. I have no ride home. I wasn't expecting them to take my car that fast, but they did. So as soon as I find a charger, I'm gonna go eat, charge my phone, and then try to get a hold of someone to come get me. But the car is getting painted. I picked out the color. You guys will have to wait till the end of the video to figure out exactly what color I painted that. Bro, I would hate to be a hobo. I'm not gonna lie. This is annoying. All right, I think I'm good. Run, Irving! Run, Irving! Run! Gotta run. All right. All right, boys. We made it. I see a Dollar General up ahead, and my brother is coming for me, so I just have to make some time. He said 12.50, it's 11.40, so 
I just gotta goof off and mess around for like an hour and then just go back. Got my water. <laughs> we have about an hour to spare. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna honestly walk to the Zaxby's that I saw across the streets. We're gonna eat. Hopefully they have a charger. And I'm just gonna waste time until my brother come gets me. He said he's gonna get here at 12.50. It's like 11.50. I got like about 50, 60, about an hour. We are back home. I left my car to Econo, one of the cheapest place to ever get a paint job. They quoted me exactly $682 with 19 cents to paint my MR2 a different color. And it's going to be ready in three days. My expectations are, they were up here, they're down here. I do not want to be super upset when I get the car. So I'm gonna lay my expectations here. I think I'm gonna have overspray all over the car and it's gonna look ridiculous and orange peel all over the place. And my expectations are literally down here. If it becomes a 10 foot car, a 10 footer, I'm gonna be super stoked and super happy because it's gonna look better than what it was before because it wasn't even a hundred footer. If it becomes a 10 footer, then I'm completely, completely happy. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna pick it up on Friday. I'm gonna actually start the video on Friday because I wanna get my reaction of the car. And then a week from now, we'll probably do a review to see how, how the paint's holding up. But I'm gonna start the video on Friday. So I'll see you guys in a Is that a picture? Days. Well guys, we're here. Time to pick up my car, super nervous. I don't know what to expect. Keep in mind, this was $690 with taxes. Let's go get my MR2. I wanna drive my car on the reverse now. <laughs> Dude, this came out super good. Big shout out to Omar, he took care of me. I'm like, yeah guys, if you need a decent paint job for the low, come to Winter Haven, Econo. They, they did me really, really good, man. This, this thing looks so sick, so sick. Well, boys, it's been exactly two weeks since the last clip you just saw. I kind of been waiting on the paint to cure. You really can't do much with it. And I have to, apparently, according to the instructions, when you get a, teen, uh, a cheap paint job at Econo, 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 I believe is how you say it. When you get a cheap paint job with them, they actually give you instructions on how to make the paint last. And it says for the first seven days, hose down the vehicle with cold water. It's been raining every day, so that's been going on by itself. And then after seven days, wash the vehicle with mild kitchen soap. And then after 30 days, purchase a good grade wax and a soft paste and wax it. So we have the wax already. I have the dish soap in the car. We're, just, we're actually gonna go drive it and wash it with dish soap to get rid of all the residue and like particles that are stuck in the paint after that we're just gonna wax it this thing came out really really good and so far I have zero complaints but i also haven't been driving this thing who knows maybe the moment that i hit something the whole paint on this thing will fade or chip off so i don't really know so far it looks really really good and i'm happy a lot of people hated the color that i chose but i think cream looks amazing on this color and she runs and drives really good we've we've also done a couple upgrades off camera so i'm going to show you guys in a second but yeah let's get in this car and let's drive it to the car wash because we need to wash it with kitchen soap <laughs> Also guys, we did install a push to start button on this car, so now it looks a little bit nicer. So yeah, we do have that as well. My old lock actually broke, so I had to replace it with a push to start button, which works perfectly fine. There's no problems there. So yeah, we gotta take some packages and then we'll wash the car, but dude, I love this car. A lot of people didn't like the color, but honestly, like for a $600 paint job, it looks, it looks good. Like, I don't know why people complain so much. $600, what do you expect? Better than spray cans. It would have probably costed me more to paint this car with spray cans. Because then you need primer, you need clear, you need the paint. And those little cans are like 15 bucks now. Ridiculous. Let's go get an energy drink because, yeah, I need something to wake up. This thing is driving so good, dude. Look at this. And it shifts like butter, too. Like, no problems whatsoever. Like... Dude, this is this
this is a solid freaking car my only problem is for some reason my left turn signal doesn't work my right works my left starts glitching out I think it's something with the connections on the back of the actual cluster. Oh, look, a turtle. Hi, turtle. This car is sick, dude. I love this car. One other thing, guys, I think I'm going to start posting daily vlogs. Let me know if you guys would be interested in, like, daily vlogs. I've been recording every single day, and, like, all my footage kind of accumulates, and I don't know. I'm pretty sure that I could daily vlog, so let me know if you guys want to see daily videos. Dude, this feels so wrong. <laughs> this so literally this so dude. Look at this. Oh my lord, bro. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse. Let's do this. Well, boys, she is done. We we just washed this with Don dish soap. We're gonna drive it around, let it dry, and then we're gonna wax it later this week. Week according to the instructions, we need to wax it after 30 days of washing it with Don dish soap. So this thing's looking pretty freaking clean. It was really weird washing it with Don's dish soap, but she looks good, man. She looks really, really good. So now let's head home and, uh, yeah. Actually, I, I'm on the way right now. I fabbed some, like, brackets made out of cardboard. We're going to go drop this off to my fabrication shop. So hopefully they have my intercooler done in a few weeks because, uh, yeah, I need brackets for that thing made. There's no other way to mount it onto the Civic body. I made some brackets. Now let's go find a welder. Luckily there's one in town. I'm just hoping what day is it? Friday. They should be open. We'll see. Let's let's uh let's go drop it off and see how much they're gonna charge me. I left the intercooler at the fabrication shop and I should see it in a couple of days. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm honestly in shock. I feel like the MR2 looks so good for a $600 paint job. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Is this $600 paint job worth it? To me, honestly, it is. It does have a little bit, it does have some issues. So let me show you some, some of the issues real quick. So first off, a lot of people are gonna see it, but this does have some, like it has a bit of orange peel, but I feel like once I wax it and polish it, the orange peel is definitely gonna come off. It's pretty shiny, it's smooth, but it definitely does have some orange peel. We do have some overspray in some of the seals. So I'm like here, for example, this whole thing right here, this whole thing's a seal. It shouldn't be overspray, it's a seal. So we have some there. They got quite a lot on the engine bay and that's probably the, the only part that did upset me. They did get a lot of um, overspray on my engine bay. My engine bay is supposed to be black, but as you can see now it's like almost tan. Same thing over here. I'm just gonna grab um, a can of black paint and we're gonna spray paint on top of uh, the, the overspray. So besides that, the rest of it's pretty good. Like, I can't complain. This is a really, really good paint job. This thing is coming along really, really nicely. And on, honestly, I'm super happy. But like I said again, let me know what you guys think. I think honestly, for a $600 paint job, this looks incredible. Yeah.